you talked about Houston. You're one of the guys on, even though you had an abbreviated stretch of Houston, you're one of the only guys on the Warriors that know both sides of the Rockets Warriors rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> what is that like? Tell me it one, tell me it from the Rockets point of view, and I need to know it from the Warriors point of view. It's funny that both sides look at the other one like the villain, you know? Uh, really? <laughs> it, it's funny. Like, I don't – and I don't really understand why or, like, what's going on. But, like, I was I was in the game – I didn't play, but I was uh, – when we played in Oakland last year when James Harden hit that uh, that three. Yep. Um, and being on that side of it, it was so fun, man, just watching it. And then, like, now I'm on this side, and I'm like, I want to beat them every time we play them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's different, man. It's funny just seeing how how both sides portray each other, though. It's just kind of like uh, how does the Houston bigger, portray the Rockets? This. I don't want to. I don't want to say all that, but okay, okay. <laughs> it's just like they they <laughs> they bicker about both sides. You know what I mean? And yeah. Which is fun. It's fun. It's competitive. It makes basketball fun. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, both teams want to win. So I think that's the biggest thing. Can you tell me how it was for to be on the side when um, when James? I remember I, me and Carol were both at that game. When James hit the three to go into overtime, mm-hmm. and then he hit the game winner, mm-hmm. what was that like for you guys? <laughs> to be so honest with you, it was expected. Um, huh. Like at at that point in the season, he was he was on a different level, you know. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think really anybody understood how or why, but he just turned it up for some reason. Like people were getting hurt, and he just he locked in. Um, <laughs> And I've honestly never seen somebody take over that many basketball games in that type of way, you know. And I think around that same time is when he had like sixty or fifty something when we played at uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Um. So he was just he was on a tear, man. He was going crazy, and it, it was really something that I don't think I've ever seen before, um, until I got here. And then I see Steph shoot, and I'm just like, man, it's different. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And uh, just to really see how effortless it is for guys like that, it's amazing. What was it like in the Christmas Day game against the Rockets leading up to that? Because you guys had your best game of the season against the Rockets. Right. What was that um, like? Man, I was more nervous playing on Christmas than I think I was to play them. I really didn't even care who we played. It was just mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I, I finally get to play on Christmas. Like, yeah. you know, I have been on teams where I didn't really get to play. Um, so being in, in, on a team where I got to play and contribute on Christmas was pretty dope. And I think it was just added to it that it was Houston. I was curious, what do you think about James Harden's style of play where it's almost like he games the game because he gets mm-hmm. to the line, so it's within the rules. You know, he draws the fouls, he gets to the line, he gets the points, he helps his right. team. But what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about that approach? Um, I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, it's, it's, it's funny because if you go back, and I deleted it now, but I had a tweet when I was in high school where I was talking mess about him. Um, and when I got traded, somebody brought it up. I don't know how they found it, but um, I was just saying that he kept flopping and shooting free throws. But it's it's watching him do it up close. It's a technique to that, you know what I mean? Like it's not like he's just out there kind of throwing the ball up. Sometimes it may look like it, but it's a lot of gamesmanship, I think, to the way that he plays. Um, and he he's mastered the 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 rules. I think it's something that you could say, and he understands. Um, you know, how to draw contact. And I think what people take away is that he's strong as hell. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he is hella strong. So it ain't like he's just out there throwing his body. He's throwing his body into you. Yeah. And then he's getting, you know what I mean? So it, it's, I think it's one of those things. It's not really to where he's taking advantage of the game. I think the game just has to kind of catch up to him. <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. Is it, what's the difference of playing with that versus playing against it, though? That's a great when you, question. When you, when, you, when you play against it, you hate it. When you play with them, you're like, oh, yeah, that's, I like that. It's cool. <laughs> um, but I think as basketball fans, I think people people should appreciate it. I, don't, I know a lot of people don't because they think it, it messes up the game. But um, I think it's part of the game. I think that's, that's part of adjusting. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's basketball. Um, and if it wasn't, there would be rules against it, you know, which they are trying to make rules and things like that. Um, but, you know, they do that for, for all the great players. They do that for Shaq. They do it for other people uh, mm-hmm. who are dominating. They try to make rules, you know, to 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 make the game fair, um, which I just think he's just going to continue to keep evolving and figure out uh, loopholes that, that he can use, you know, which I think is part of mastering your craft. I think what's lost in this is that James is a really good player. Like, he's Absolutely. a really, really good player. <laughs> I think that's what's lost in that. I mean, he's given the Warriors – 
a lot of troubles as you've seen firsthand. So yeah, no, absolutely. I think he he he's a great 